guys, the days are getting shorter and the air is getting colder and there are pumpkins everywhere, which means it's fall. And that means there's lots of work to do in a yard. We're gonna go through today just a few things that you can do to get your yard ready for the fall to make sure it's ready to be beautiful again in the spring. So one of the first things you'll notice about your grass in the fall is that it needs a lot less water. As the days get cooler, there's less evaporation that takes place. So start trimming back the water that you put on your grass in progression. You don't wanna just totally cut it off or cut it down. Slowly start working your water down. We live in Utah, which is technically considered a desert. And so we are very careful about how much we water. We only water however much we absolutely need to. So start trimming your water back and that will help save your bill, but it'll also help get your grass ready to go dormant for the winter. The next step to getting your yard ready starts here with your mower. A lot of people keep their grass fairly long during the summer, which is great. It helps keep water retention so you don't have to water so much. But as things get colder, you're going to want to start putting your lawnmower blade a little bit lower and a little bit lower. You want your grass to be fairly short for the winter because if, especially in Utah, we get snow pile, right? And if that snow sits on your grass and that grass is really long, it's going to mat it down and it's going to have a really hard time recovering in the winter. So you're gonna to wanna to slowly work your grass levels down to be a little bit shorter. Now, while we're on the topic of snowfall, if you live in an area that gets a lot of snow and you have young trees, you're gonna make sure you wrap those up with, usually there's, a, you can get a burlap strip or burlap sacking from any nursery. Make sure you wrap those up and hold those branches up because nothing hurts a tree more than just getting cracked off in the middle of winter because snowfall has just broken your leaves or your branches off. The next thing we wanna talk about is the actual um, getting the grass prepped itself. So you'll want to make sure you have sprayed and fertilized your grass. I don't fertilize when I've got a bunch of weeds in my grass because I don't want to fertilize my weeds. So I usually spray, let those weeds die, and then I'll put a winter fertilizer on so that it's ready to go. And that usually goes on right before you know that it's going to snow and stay snowy and stay cold. Um, spraying right now, it's a 75 degree day. It's a perfect day to spray. We don't have rain in the forecast. So I'm gonna get some spray on the grass. This is a broad leaf spray. So it's only gonna kill our dandelions and clovers and all the weeds, but it's gonna keep our good grass and everything's gonna look so pretty. So we'll let that weed killer do its job for a couple of weeks. Then when it gets really cold, we'll throw a winter fertilizer on there and have it ready to go. Now, one thing about sprays, sprays are designed to kill, right? Kill weeds, that is. So that probably means it's not super great for you if you get it on you. So you wanna make sure you are protected. Eyes and gloves especially are important. So make sure you're all protected. I like to mix my sprays in a little tank sprayer so that I can make it the way I want it. If that's not what you wanna do, you can get little sprayers that hook up to a hose and they are pre-mixed, ready to go. You just spray and you're done. A couple of other tips, you wanna make sure there's no pets or kids on your grass for a day or two after you spray, just to make sure it's had a chance to settle in and your kids won't get a lot of it on them. You'll just wanna make sure you read and follow the manufacturer's recommendations and then go out and spray it. Now, Julie's already done a fantastic job of getting this grass ready for me. She's mowed it, which is what you wanna do, and then she's also picked up all the debris, any leaves or anything else that's gonna block my spray from getting right onto my weeds and killing them. We interrupt this broadcast of how to take care of your yard to pick up some awesome kids from school. How was school today, kids? Good. Good. Get a pool, they said. They're so fun and easy. They're so easy to take care of, they said. <laughs> they lie. They lie. It's been a week. We are gonna put this thing to winter. We are putting it to rest. It was our fault. We got the algae thing going, and so I think next year it'll be better. But we're gonna cover this pig up for the winter and call it good. The one thing I like about winter is not having to worry about any yard work. I'm ready That's for true. the day where we're not mowing, weed eating, like we're inside snuggling and doing puzzles, right? We're inside projects. Yay! <laughs> Landon has been outside working so hard all day and he has called me out for some expert advice. I don't know if I can give you the expert advice. But we're gonna try something new today. I wanna know, how many of you guys have accidentally killed your grass when you did not want to? Don't you dare get that on the grass. 
<laughs> that stuff is not to help the grass. That is going to kill the grass. And I'm like scared that he's going to like tip it over and like kill the grass that we don't want killed. But we are gonna kill a big strip of grass today because in the spring, summertime, we wanna plant some flowers, make it pretty. We gotta do a little bit of landscaping, but we've gotta decide how we want it done. So if you see here up against the house, we don't have any grass, just some pretty plants. It's gotten actually really pretty right there. And then over here, we've got grass and it kind of slopes towards the house. So when we had the inspection, he said we need to uh, put more soil and you can see how it's like angled towards the house. So we had to fix that and angle it that direction. And we do not want grass up against the house because we don't want water up against the house. So we are going to do what my mom does and use a hose to outline an edge and then kill all of that grass. And I am trying to decide if I want it a straight edge like that or if I want it kind of like a curvy edge kind of like they have over there. So we just kind of use this to visualize what we want. What do we want, Landon? I'm looking at a straight edge and I think that would look really good. It matches what we've already got. Yeah, I'm thinking so too. You just, just come straight off the stair here? Probably. Just come straight off that and just straight line. Yeah, I think so. And then we'll, like I said, add more soil and then in the springtime plant some pretty plants. I think we'll just keep it straight. Okay. And then if we ever change our mind, it wouldn't be too hard to Make it kill more grass. True. Thank you for your expert opinion. We do this together. Although he's done most of the work. I spy with my little eye something purple. Look at her down in there. I think she loves having her own room. <laughs> oh boy, there's no going back now. Nope, it's dead. Ah! And I did this one after I did like the good weed sprayer, like the one that's just the broad leaf killer. If I did this one first and it was left in my tank, then I might kill all my grass while spraying everything else. Oh yeah, you don't want to mix chemicals, save the worst for last. Yeah. Oh no, Landon, stop! Okay, I'm standing right here talking to Landon. I'm in my sandals and a dress and I can like feel the spray on my legs. The wind is blowing it. You're going to kill all of this grass. You gotta be very careful with overspray. Shoot. The wind is blowing, stop spraying. Okay. Unless it kills my leg hairs. <laughs> I don't think it will. <laughs> Ew, you're disgusting. We interrupt this broadcast of home repairs for date night, but Julie brought along a tag along for date <laughs> night. A fifth wheel, a third wheel, if you will. No, I'm just being a little crafty. Totally not me. Why am I cutting out 50 bats? I'm cutting out bats to put on our wall. Because I know the kids would love it. Because so. you're a cute mom, that's why. That's what I'm, I'm doing. Smoking hot date for my date night. <laughs> We're gonna go catch some theater and grab a bite to eat.